Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plug. So in this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this beautiful iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max in Fusion 360. So I hope you guys will enjoy the video. But before that, I will be using some blueprints which I have downloaded from the internet and the description of today's file. You can have that description, uh, that link in the description below. So there's a website called dimensions.com and they have a blueprint of uh, iPhones. So just type on Google. Uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max blueprints or dimensions.com and you will find the link you can also find the link in the description below so I'm not sure this is accurate but I will be using this to make the iPhone here and as per this display is concerned I have downloaded an image and in, uh, and inserted it on top of this face as a decal so I will show you how to do that so you just first of all just download this wallpaper any wallpaper that you want and the first second thing is this blueprint now switch to your workspace and go to insert go to canvas and click on import from my computer and click on the blueprint you have downloaded and front plane drag it like this and press ok you don't need to give any dimension yet now here's an canvas option right click on it and calibrate now go to front view as you guys can see the dimension from here to here is 160 mm so I am going to calibrate this drawing from this point to this point as you guys can see from this point to this point our major dimension is 37.7 but it is supposed to be 160.8 so 160.8 and press enter now our drawing has been calibrated up as per the uh, dimension now front plane click on the front plane like this start by making a rectangle and make sure the edges of this rectangle meets the edges of the uh, the iPhone yeah this looks fine and the bottom yeah now just finish this sketch and then you can see the thickness is 7.65 so I am going to extrude this rectangle up to a distance of 7.65 and this is going to be your new component press shift and N to enable the color now as per the radius is concerned select these four edges the, the four corners of the uh, rectangle and click on the front plane go to front view and make the radius so that it matches with the blueprint yeah now this looks fine and press ok now click on the front plane and on this plane I'm going to uh, make this uh, logo so press C for circle and make a circle like this and just big enough so that it represents like a little bit enough there is absolutely no dimension in the here so go to fit point spline from this point start by tracing these lines like I am doing and for more uh, uh, you can uh, decrease or increase the number of the points so I am just doing uh, to show you how this will work. Uh, from here to here to here and press OK. Now for the leaf part here, here and here and press OK. Now L from here draw a line mirror this with respect to this line and press ok now make the center line as construction mode press T for trim and trim this extra part and finish the sketch now hide the canvas for now go to modify there's an option called split faces so select this face as a split ok go to split faces select this face as split a splitting tool first of all is going to be this one and uh, you can select one splitting tool at a time and press ok now just bring back the sketch again 
and repeat for repeat the same step for the leaf part and press ok now hide the sketch now we have a uh, uh, logo engraved in the body uh, basically it does not look like a logo basically uh, just to limit the size of uh, time of the video I'm just making it uh, a little bit faster so now I'm going to move the camera setup again start by making a rectangle equal to the size like this and finish the sketch and you can measure the dimension from here to here as we have calibrated so the approx dimension is 1.8 yeah this is seems fine so just extrude it up to a distance of 1.8 again as for the radius uh, select all the four edges okay one more thing uh, basically the blueprint does not represent all the all the scenes of your phone so I strongly recommend that uh, Anna Apple uh, on a new window just type iPhone 13 Pro Max and just just look for the images so that will give you a brief description of how the phone will look like so uh, as your blueprint will not show you all the dimension and all the things so there is something that you need to assume for example if you just see there's a bump you can assume the dimension that it's around one and a one and a half mm so you can just look at the images at any time so click on fillet select all these four edges <coughs> one by one one selected Go to the front view and drag it just so that it matches with the blue and um, the blueprint and press ok now if you are familiar with the photos you guys can see here's a radius here so go to fillet select this one and increase the radius above 1.8 just equal to the height of the block now again press c for circle and from center point here make one circle here and again from here this is another one and from here make the third one like this now extrude it again like this up to a distance of 1.5 mm ah, now we will deal with deal it with later on uh, first of all i'm going to be working with the front plane now just go to fillet select this edge and this edge and go for fillet of 1.0.5 uh, mm fillet now if I just switch on the sketch, you guys can see this is the front view and this is the view. So we have done working with the, uh, the back view of course. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to right click on your canvas and edit canvas. Now go to front view like this and I'm going to drag it leftwards to align the front view with the front plane. You don't need to be accurate in every aspect. As you guys can see, this will do the work and press OK. Now, I will be working on this plane. So, right click on this. But before that, what I'm going to do is, we are going to create a glass of this plane. So, what I'm going to do is, click on extrude and make an extrude cut of... Uh, and make an extrude cut of negative 0.5 mm and press OK just 0.5 and what i'm going to do is i will be making some glass here to uh, give the uh, give this a glass finish so you guys can see we have a a cut here of uh, let me just switch the camera to orthographic now you can see that we have a cut here now again i what i'm going to do is uh, click on extrude it and i'm going to extrude again with a new component and the dimension is 1.5 this time 
so we have a glass and a back here so just hide the glass for now click on create a sketch and on this plane bring back the canvas now we will start by making some sketches here so click on offset command and on this surface offset it inwards so that it matches with the so three point uh, seems fine just yeah 3.6 seems fine so just like this once turn just hide the canvas for now so we have an offset here and click on line and make it symmetry to the plane here okay something is definitely wrong here just undo it so I am going to track the center point this is the center point uh -huh. yes create a rectangle like this make it symmetry with this one of course and again bring back this dimension and just drag it like this to match it press T for trim and trim all these lines now fillet select these two points and drag it to match it with the blueprint now do the same for this point also this seems fine a radius of one seems fine yeah this will do the job and press ok now once done just finish the sketch and bring back the body now click on extrude and extrude cut this inside just up to a distance of minus 0.05 make it even lesser what i'm going to do is i will be placing the our images wallpaper here so if i just don't uh, make the extrude cut of uh, even a minus 0.01 mm even a micron what it will do when i will place the glass over it it will create some display glitches so that's why i am making this type of design here so this is our basic design and this is our glass now if i just press a and go to appearances there is an option called glass and really smooth so i'm going to make the glass as transparent and as for the body is concerned i will be going to metal and monium and let's say ionize seems good now select the faces and just go to paint glossy and for the logo here we will make it black like this and we will work with the camera in the later part of the video now just close the sketch and again shift it in to enable the camera so we have a display here you guys can see this is how this will look like now as per this is concerned you guys can see that uh, it is creating this this was the glitch that I was talking about so just hide this body and extrude cut even this one and make it downwards just up to a distance of minus zero zero minus zero point zero zero one so that it removes the contact between the glass and the that face so this is this will fix the issue now as per the concern uh, disk decal so go to insert go to decals import from my computer and let's see where it is okay i think uh, yeah here it is now there's an option called face select there now remember before making any changes there is an option called chain faces just uncheck it so let's let me show you just what chain faces does so if i just scale it up you guys can see that I have selected this face but it will automatically be adjusted to uh, the corresponding faces also so this will not look look guys so I'm going to click on uh, uncheck the chain faces so it will automatically be adjusted only to the selected face now on the front view I'm going to adjust it according to the display so this seems fine and just make it I know uh, this is not accurate display so I'm just showing you the tricks and press ok so this is how it will look like now bring back the glass here so this is how your glass with the glass it will look like 
without glass it looks more realistic though so you guys can alter the setting of the glass to make it more transparent now as per the camera is concerned now the only thing left to do is to make the switches and the holes here so for that you guys can see the each and every point he is given here so hope you guys will do that part so basically this does not consist of any dimension all the things has been assumed and you guys can work with the flows let me just show you my design of the iphone that we have created so for the design as, as you guys can see we have created a glass here so once your this is com uh, completed so just make an extrude cut here and some spare here and on top of that make us three completely different body with a uh, glass and I have uh, chosen the black color glass to make it look more realistic and I have created another uh, split face here to for the lidar sensor and I have already also created the uh, the button using a simple slot and extrude commands and as per the basis concern the lightning port and the speaker grills are easy to make that is not a big deal as far as the front plane is concerned this is my glass so just hide it if i just hide my glass you guys can see i have created a slot for the speaker for the earpiece and i have created three uh, split faces using the split face command here so uh, that will do the for the sensors and this is the our front camera so i have just used some use some uh, i have also used the ionized skin here and as for this is uh, I have just uh, make a lighter tone here so hope you guys will enjoy this uh, was the basic trick that that will be used to make this iPhone so hope you guys will, guys will enjoy uh, once more if anyone want this model this is exactly I have made using this blueprint so you guys can easily make this one out so if you guys uh, make um, want the 3d model of this one uh, contact me through my email ID mentioned in the description below so hope you guys will enjoy don't forget to share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day